morning you guys welcome back to vlogmas it is the morning time i'm getting ready for the day um not that busy of a work day i have a meeting at one o'clock which i'm like anxious slash nervous for so i stayed up till like literally two in the morning prepping for the meeting and then what else do we have um i need to wrap up christmas shopping today so i thought that we could go christmas shopping this morning and then i also Rue is crying because she wants to go out, but I had an idea that Dylan and I could film like a fun Christmas cocktails video, like a cocktail competition. He like makes a Christmas cocktail and I make one and we like try them on camera, maybe like answer some questions. Um, and I wanted to film that tonight. So I need to go get the ingredients for that. He like sent me the drink that he wants to make and I need to figure out what I'm going to make. So that could be a fun little video. Um, we're leaving for Disney next week for like four days. And I'm like, I'm like telling myself that I'm not allowing myself to do four days of Disney vlogs because I love Disney, but I don't love Disney that much. And we're going with Dylan's family for Christmas. And I want to be able to like be in the moment and hang out with like family and stuff. I'm already like one day ahead of Vlogmas. If you guys haven't noticed, like if you're watching a video on a Tuesday, that video was filmed on a Sunday. So I guess like two days ahead. So I'm trying to get like maybe three days ahead. So filming an extra video tonight will help me put out more quality content than just like four days of Disney vlogs. So I'm trying to like figure that out. I feel like I've gone on a lot of trips and I'm honestly proud of myself for being able to keep up with it. Anyways, this is me rambling like my calendar in my head to you guys. But I just want to be prepared for vlogmas videos all next week and not just do a bunch more travel so i want to get some more like at home content for you guys because i know that you guys enjoy that but turn on the camera because i feel like i never really addressed after i spoke to you guys about my bell's policy talk and all the comments were incredibly 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 nice and sweet and i just wanted to thank you guys for your like your support and saying that you didn't really even notice or you were proud of me for sharing that um and i was so so shocked with how many people actually have or had the exact same thing happen to them or like family members i thought it was more of a rare thing um but i'm thinking now that it's not really so i just wanted to thank you guys all and then a few of you guys were saying that i needed to like i needed to go get like an mri from my doctor and i just wanted to let you guys know for clear of mind like my doctor is keeping an eye on it and we're going to give it a few more weeks um we're gonna i have a follow-up in january just because it is so recent and he's wonder he's thinking that it will fully heal pretty quickly but again we'll see a lot of you guys were like um facial specialists and things like that saying i needed to get like um vibrations and like led lighting and all this stuff done to my face which i do want to make an appointment for that but i'm having a hard time finding one here in nashville so I'm still looking for that, but these have been like my lifesaver. Um, this one, especially, I I like this one, but it's honestly not my favorite. I feel like it's a little bit too big. I feel like I have a small head, and I feel like this takes up like too much of my face for it to like actually fit in my bone structure. It's like a little bit uncomfy when I roll this one, but like if I'm wanting to like really get into like my shoulders and stuff, I really love this one. It's by the Skinny Confidential. But this has been like insane. It's by the brand Lumi Beauty. I remember watching one of Hailey Bieber's videos and she had this and I remember a PR company sent it to me in like a PR package and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna use that now because I'm a Hailey Bieber freak. But this one is really nice and small. It fits like right in my jawline really well. And my favorite part is that it actually vibrates. So I have been using this thing like crazy and I feel like when I talk, I notice a little bit of this line coming back, but this still won't pull up and I don't have the dimple. So, I mean, it's only been how long, like maybe a month and a half. So I'm still trying to be patient and give it time and just like not focus about it. I feel like worrying about it isn't going to do me any good, but yeah, this has been like really, really helping and I feel like it's been snatching my face in. Honestly, it's been so nice and it's just like a nice little treat in the morning so, or sometimes at night when i get out of the shower i will literally stand here and do this for like 20 minutes while i scroll on my phone and dylan's like okay rachel enough like you've been doing it for like i've been doing my forehead for so long that i have like two red lines now going on my face but i will try to find the link for you guys and link i know i can find the skinny confidential one. i'm gonna try to find the Lumi beauty one and i'll link it for you guys but yeah today we're just doing some things just another day in the life um, I'm gonna go downstairs, make a coffee, take the dogs out, feed the dogs. It's, what time is it? I have a late start because I woke up so, or I went to bed so late. 
Um, it is 9.48, so it's almost 10 o'clock, which is not ideal, but it's fine. My meeting is at 1 o'clock, so I still have time for that. I'm gonna make a coffee. I might even treat myself and sit on the couch and like watch a Vlogmas. I haven't watched one lick of Vlogmas from anyone this whole entire month um, because every time I sit down, I wanna watch a Christmas movie because I feel like once Christmas hits, it comes so fast and then I feel like I've missed out on all the holiday movies. So tonight, maybe I'll watch another Christmas movie, but I might go watch a Vlogmas, make a little coffee. I'm feeling an iced coffee this morning and I'm happy to be home from LA and like, have my at-home coffee again. Um, oh, I bought Alfred beans. I could make an espresso, I could make a latte. But I also have cold brew, so let's see what we do. Whenever I first come downstairs, the house literally looks like a dungeon. One of my favorite things about this townhome is how many windows we have. And it just brings in so much natural light, which is honestly so good for filming. Top priority, we plug in the tree right away obsessed with my tree you guys trees from cranberry i still feel like i get questions about it and i feel like it looks so real it sometimes freaks me out we've gotten so many compliments at first i thought people were gonna hate on it because you can like see the stem and it was like not as full but i honestly love the look of it because i feel like it looks more real when it's not so perfect and i just love it i also added some of my new ornaments i never showed you guys. I feel like we'll always stick with a pretty neutral tree, but I feel like it's also really fun to have like a few colors on there. Look at this guitar we got in Hawaii. It's so cute. It was at the bottom of the tree and then Rue started to eat it. As you can see, the paint is <laughs> chipped off. So thanks, Rue. Come on. Come on, Winnie. <laughs> Trying to decide between a latte or cold brew but i think we should do a latte i keep the syrup in... why did that just go off i i have about half of the syrup left and i keep it in the fridge because it says it's only good at like 12 days after you open it but i think if you keep it in the fridge it should be fine at least i'm hoping i mean i haven't <laughs> haven't had any issues with it yet I'm gonna make this quick. the dogs I just gave them ice cube. I do like one, two, three. Like three lid folds, I guess. And then shot of espresso. I love these Christmas mugs. I wish I could link them for you guys. I got them off of Anthropology and I know that they have like not seasonal ones, they have ones with like bumblebees and like random things, but I thought the Christmas trees were so cute, but they were, I found like six of them in the store, but they've been sold out online for a while. My regular coffee cups are like tall and skinny and I like the thickness of these. If I lived in California, I think I would go broke off of Alfred coffee. Actually, no, let me rephrase. If I lived in California, I think I would just be broke because everything there is so expensive. I don't, I don't understand how people live in California. It is so expensive, everything, just everything. Like a drink at dinner, $25. A meal at dinner, $50. I mean, obviously probably the nicer restaurants, but Ubers, grocery stores, Air One, I feel like I saw this lady at Air One and she had a full cart and I was like, I looked at Lily and I was like, that was that's easily easily seven hundred dollars of groceries. I mean, I went to I go to Publix and I get I walk out with four bags. It's over a hundred dollars. It's just crazy.
just finished up my meeting, which went really well. I'm excited about it. What else? I just had some lunch and I got all dressed. I wanted to show you guys my little fit of the day. I'm gonna go run out and do, I just realized today, I could do either today or tomorrow. It's like my final days of being able to Christmas shop unless I ordered in person because we leave for Athens on Thursday and then we're gone all weekend and then I go straight to Disney. And when I come up from Disney, it's the 22nd and I feel like I don't wanna be out holiday shopping on the 22nd. So I only have like two more gifts to get. I need to get Danny something. I have no idea what to get him. He sends photos and <laughs> you guys, Danny. Danny has been so funny about Christmas. You guys know, obviously none of you guys know Danny in person, but he is all about like his birthday and Christmas. He loves getting gifts and he is not afraid to let you know that. So he sends literally in our family group message probably every single day pictures of things that he wants. And it's so funny because some of them are like screenshots off of like YouTube videos or things. And I'm just like, I don't even know where to get that item or what that item even is. So he's kind of hard to shop for. So I might just do, I hate to get him a gift card, but he loves to go shopping with my mom like in town. So I don't know. I feel like he would maybe appreciate like a Target and a GameStop gift card because that kind of stuff makes him excited to like add to his wallet, which is so funny. A few other things. I want to get something from my friend Jenny and just a few other little things. I also ordered a bunch of stuff from Zara before Lily's Christmas party and I need to go return that. It was like a bunch of stuff that I literally didn't even end up wearing. So my little fit of the day is this sweater. I've worn this sweater several times. I'm obsessed with the neckline of it. I love that it's silver buttons. I have in these cute earrings from Jenny Bird. I am obsessed with these hoops. I'll link my whole fit for you guys. I think the sweater sold out, but I could link similar and maybe a more affordable option. I do see your guys' comments and I wanna get better at it. I don't know, I'm trying to get better at quality over quantity when it comes to clothing. And so I gravitate towards more like luxe things, but I see your guys' comments, I totally understand. So I wanna get better at that and I want you guys to hold me accountable. So little belt on that's kind of old. I just have never really worn it off of forward. I got it like in the clearance section on forward. And then these jeans are my newest obsession. Frame denim and I got these in LA. These are the jeans that I got. I just feel like the legs are very flattering on me and I love how, I just love the whole situation. And then I'm wearing my little 112 sneakers and I have the jeans just kind of like cuffed in the front. I'm gonna take this water with me in the car. I feel like lately I am so dehydrated. And I was reading comments from, well, I just posted an Instagram picture and then I was like reading some comments and stuff, which sometimes I love to engage in. And then sometimes it just like totally ruins my mood, which I hate. That's like the one thing I hate about the internet, but I hate to even bring it up because I don't even want to give the people the satisfaction over like hate comments because it's like truly just so dumb to me these days. But there's so many of you guys that like support my stuff and engage in my stuff and are so sweet that like it makes what I do worth it. But then there's those few people that just love to say stuff that it's just like hurtful. And I just can't even understand how people type things about people like that. And then like, I just wonder if they would ever actually say it to my face or if they just hide behind a screen because I would like never, even if I was thinking something hateful to someone on the internet, I would never like actually type it out and send it to them. I think it's just the most bizarre situation, but I've been seeing a lot of comments saying how people wish that I still dressed the way that I used to. And it's kind of funny to me because I would say to those people, I would say, and I don't even know if I'm gonna leave this in because I'm just kind of like, I hate to even give them the satisfaction. But if you were to look at pictures from you, it was like high school photos that these people were referencing. Um, if you were to look at yourself in high school and now you are a 25, 26 year old woman, would you still be dressing the same way you did in high school? Probably not, like everyone changes. That's like the beauty about life and the phases and the steps of the life that you go through. Like life is such a crazy thing. Like in five years, I probably might not even wear the outfit I have on. Like everything just changes and that's fine. And that's the beauty of like everyone being different everyone getting to like voice their own or like express themselves in their clothing and the things that they put on their body and the things that they like and they wear and they say like everyone is different. That's like the beauty about being human. But I just think some people realize that or some people fall in love with the idea of someone on the internet. And then when we change, like change my hair color from blonde to brown, like they just don't like it. And that's fine, but it's kind of like, I I don't know. I just can't believe that people like actually say that kind of stuff on the internet, but that's beside the fact. I just thought I would say that to be, one, be kind, two, everyone changes and evolves. Like that's the point of life. If you're not changing and getting better and doing better and like liking new things, seeing new places, it's kind of like, 
you're just stuck in life. And so, yeah, maybe I don't dress as girly anymore as I did in high school. Or maybe I like love to wear all neutral colors. Like that's just the phase of life I'm in right now. Like I love how I dress right now and I'm proud of my fashion and I love my style and I'm always finding ways to like make it better and how I enjoy my style to be obviously because you guys well some of you guys look up to me for outfit inspiration and like get inspo from me and that's like a part of my job and so I'm always changing and evolving and so I don't know I just wanted to say that because I feel like some people just think like if you're one way you have to stay that way forever and that is just like not the case at all i think the beauty about life is changing and evolving and like finding new things you love and seeing new places and doing new things and meeting new friends and just like i don't know life isn't supposed to stay the same every single day time and time again so and then if my videos do stay the same and i do the same thing over and over again everyone says it's boring so it's like i am trying to find the happy medium so <laughs> that's all i'll say i never try to engage in the hate or like the trolls on the internet because I hate giving them satisfaction because at the end of the day they're still watching my stuff and it's like you're watching for a reason so I try to brush it off and I never talk about this kind of stuff on my channel but I just thought I would say it because I think that everyone in this world is always like everyone needs to be kinder and everyone needs to get along better and blah 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 and then you have people like that that are saying that but then going on the internet and like commenting and posting about people and like bashing their names so it just doesn't make sense to me i don't think it ever will make sense to me but at the end of the day i'm winning and those trolls are losing so that's all i had to say <laughs> target parking lot i need to run in for a few things but i really am craving like a homemade hot chocolate i also really wanted to make homemade marshmallows to go on top but i just read a recipe it said that you needed like a kitchen aid mixer to whisk it for like two minutes straight and i don't have one so i'm just gonna do store-bought marshmallows and do a homemade hot chocolate i just called dylan he said he would want some too and they have this recipe i'll link it but they have like a individual serving for two so you don't have to like have a lot of excess hot chocolate. So I'm gonna do this one, the two servings. It's just milk, unsweetened cocoa powder, sugar, which I already have, chocolate chips, and then vanilla extract, which I already have. Super simple. So I'm gonna go into Target, get a few things. I'm back home and I wanted to show you, this is like my favorite store in Nashville. And I know that they have an Instagram. I feel like if they were to post something and you were to DM them, if you guys aren't local, you they would probably ship, but um this that i got is from the brand i believe it's from the brand paper source so i know that you could probably get it at paper source this one wasn't by the brand paper source it's santa barbara design studio so i'm gonna try to find it. i can link it for you guys it was 12 bucks it's a weekly planner and i really loved the layout of this i'm not someone that keeps up with the calendar i'm like actually really really bad at it and so i loved first off get your ducks in a row that's so cute and then you can put like the date of the week i love that there's like extra space just to do like side notes i feel like i always need to jot random things down and then i loved how there was enough space to do obviously every single day there's another section which is helpful and i like how there isn't any lines because i'm not the most organized when it comes to like handwriting and stuff and i just think this is gonna work really well for me so i'm very very excited about that i also got some really pretty ornaments these are two gifts i am obviously not going to unwrap them but i got a little gift for sarah and ben for having us at their house for christmas and then this is for my friend jenny and then in here i got some pretty positive Dylan's dad doesn't watch my videos so He's like super, super into Christmas decor and he loves the old time. Um, if you guys remember, these like are like an old timey Christmas decor and they have like cookie jars that used to look like this. And he actually has a light up one of this, like a big version in their house. And I saw this ornament and I was like, I have to get this for him. So it lights up and everything. And I just 
think it's literally the cutest thing for their tree and their tree is like red and green and stuff so i thought this would match perfectly and then i also got these two ornaments for mine and dylan's tree this i saw and i know it's like not the colors at all and i know a lot of you guys are laughing because i'm like no red christmas decor in the house but dylan wins on this one because i had to get this cowboy boot i thought it was the cutest ornament ever and every place dylan and i move we love to get like a christmas ornament to remember the place because we move a lot for his job and stuff and i thought this was like the perfect one to remember nashville by and i just think it's the cutest thing and then i also saw this it's actually on the kids tree but i was like i have to get this i grew up as a dancer um I did point for years and loved ballet and I thought this was like the sweetest little ornament and it matches our tree really cute. So you literally just like drape it over one of the branches and I thought it was like the sweetest gift ever. So I've been like super into getting ornaments that remind me of things in our life that we love and I'm so, so excited about this one. So that's what I got at White's Mercantile. I'm going to make some dinner quick. I think we're gonna have tacos because I got some stuff for that. And then I'm gonna get the house picked up. I was actually just, let me check on it. I'm getting Vlogmas up. It's 7.40 at night already and I feel like I have so much to do. And to be honest, you guys, I'm like in the worst mood right now because I feel like nothing is going right today. I just, I've just had like such a long day and I feel like I'm still not getting anything done. And I just, I feel behind with work, but I'm trying to like, still live my life and still vlog for you guys and dylan has been like outside because our backyard is a total like mess from the mud from like the dogs in and out and then we had like six dogs at our house on thanksgiving and so there's like our back patio slab it's just like so full of mud and i ordered a pressure washer to be picked up for like rental today from home depot but i didn't have time because my meeting went over to go grab it and so then dylan had to go get one from lowe's on his way home because the lowe's was on his way and all this stuff and then he gets home he's like we move all the furniture we move everything out of the back for him to pressure wash which also there's supposed to be like a terrible storm tomorrow so i don't even know why we thought this was a good idea or i thought this was a good idea i feel like it's on me because i tend to which is this is this is me admitting it i tend to pick terrible times for dylan to help me around, around the house but it's just like hard because he's at work all the time and like things need to get done but i can't do everything by myself like i don't know how to pressure wash so i needed his help and like obviously it's like pitch black out and he probably doesn't want to be doing it but he's being a good sport and being nice and like helping me well he gets the pressure washer home and then we move all the furniture and then he can't even get the pressure washer to start because it's missing a piece. So he has to call Lowe's, drive all the way back, get the piece, comes back and starts it. And it's like the shittiest pressure washer ever. Like it's barely getting any of the dirt off. So I just went out there because he's been standing out there for like an hour and he's only done like one corner because it's so slow and so bad. He's having to go over and over and over. And I'm like, you know what? Just And so it's just, I just feel like nothing is going our way today. I also... I feel like it's my time of the month, so I'm just in a bad mood and anything is just like setting me over the edge, which I feel like it happens to everyone, but I'm trying to like bring myself back and stop being like a bitch right now, but I just am having a hard time doing it. So I just feel like I'm all over the place. Luckily today I did finish up Christmas shopping, so that is like something I wanted to get done. I stressed out about my meeting that I had this morning, and so I'm glad that that's over with, but now I'm like behind on Vlogmas and things like that, so I just... I just feel a little overwhelmed right now, but I'm gonna be fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just venting to you guys and I'll be fine and we'll make it through. I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna put away the stuff. I got some stuff at Zara. I didn't even get to try it on um, for this weekend for Cassidy's graduation. I didn't get to try any of it on because the dressing rooms at Zara are still closed in Nashville. I have no idea why. So I thought we could do a little keeper return Zara, but I'm gonna wait till after dinner and I wanna make hot chocolate because I got the stuff and I'm like, craving it i'm craving something chocolatey and i think it could be a fun little vlogmas activity so that was the end of my rant i'm just letting you guys know that i'm a human being too and i know everyone like you cannot even argue with me that you have never had a bad day because everyone does and this is just maybe one of my bad days so that's what's up and rue has just been being so bad today and i just I just don't even know what to do about it. I might send her off to training. Dylan thinks that she doesn't need it. I think that she does need it. It's not that she's 
a bad puppy she's just getting big so quickly and so i want to make sure that we get her trained properly before she gets to like be too big and then i can't control her um she's potty trained she's just been acting up and i know it's because she's been in the crate lately and i was out of town and all this stuff luckily this weekend when we leave for athens for dylan's sister's graduation um rue and winnie are both going like away to a guy's house who lives on a farm who is going to take care of them all weekend so they'll get to like run around and play and stuff and they won't be like trapped in kennels so i think that that will help <laughs> why can't i put her on the vlog you've been, you've been mean to her you're right i have been mean to her today and i don't mean it rue but sometimes you just help She's like a, she's like literally like a human. Roo, like single. cuddling with her. Ow! <laughs> she's so big. She's like, help, help. What are your thoughts on that? Let's see if she like stares at herself. <laughs> no, she said no, no free, no free content. She said you have to follow her on OnlyFans. <laughs> you think that shit funny talking about our dog like that? Okay, take her downstairs. I got a shower. I just took a shower and I have some laundry going. So if you can hear something in the back, it's because there is always laundry going in this house. I swear I cannot keep up with the laundry. There's only two of us here. And I'm like, I can't even imagine what it's like to have like four kids with the amount of laundry. I think that Dylan just changes like. Anyways, um, I am trying on some of the stuff that I got from Zara and I had to show you guys because I'm obsessed with both of these things. This fur coat, I've been looking for like a casual fur coat that you could just wear on the daily. I feel like a lot of fur coats are super, super dressy or like long and this is like basically like a little bomber style coat and I love the cream color and then I would honestly style it with these pants. These are... Oh my god, I like cannot even believe that I found these in corduroy. These are the most insane pants ever. They're the same style pant as the ones that I have in the blue and the black that I literally wear all the time. I wear them in a size medium and they're just like so casual and so comfy. They have like a little um, drawstring and then you can wear the bottoms flare or tighten them up. I like to tighten them up with sneakers and I just think... They're so cute. I feel like this would be the cutest outfit with some little black sunnies, a black bag, and then some sneakers. So definitely keep on these. I'm wearing a medium in the jacket, a medium in the bottom. I'm going to link these below. I refuse to take the tags off until I find them on the website for you guys. I feel like Zara is one of those websites where I struggle finding their stuff on their site because their site is literally the worst. And lately I've tried to be anti-Zara because I just, I don't know, but I ran in there today because I was returning stuff and then I got suckered into a few things. So both of these are a keep, which I'm very, very excited about these. All right, and then I only got three things. This is the last little thing that I got. It's just this black, excuse my dusty mirror. It's like this super little mini black dress, but I got a size small and I have like so much extra room. I think that I need to get an extra small because I would love if it would like fit like this. And I would love to wear like a little choker and then some tights for maybe New Year's or something. But yeah, it's just a little bit too big. I feel like I have to like expand my rib cage for it to stay up. The idea of it is really cute, but I feel like I could probably find something better. I mean, this was still, I think this was like 89 bucks, which is pricey and the quality isn't the best. And I think I could find something cuter. Okay, we're making hot chocolate, Dylan and I. <laughs> ingredients we need and we need sugar and we need milk okay we're gonna try to attempt to make homemade hot chocolate and these are the actually i think that you need vanilla too let me look i used to wear this hair this bun in college this is like college rachel right now. What does my hair remind you of right now? Dance. Dance. <laughs> Two options the recipe gives you to either do 
bittersweet or semi-sweet. I think I'm going to go with semi-sweet. Basically all the ingredients go together minus the vanilla and the chocolate chips. This goes in at the end until it's melted and then you serve it right away. So I'm going to measure everything out and get that going. Okay, we're waiting on this to boil. I have like all the liquids and the sugar and then we've got our topping station <laughs> over here. Last two steps are to add a fourth a cup of the chocolate chips and then a one-eighth teaspoon of vanilla. It's like literally the smallest bit. Oh man. Another day. Another day in the books. Yeah. I would say this day was not my best. Yep, I would agree. It was a odd day. <laughs> I should have asked you for new knives for Christmas. That's like something I really need. Or we need. Maybe you could buy me knives for Christmas. Babe, I already got you a present. When are we going to exchange gifts? I feel like we should do it before we head home because I feel like when we go home it's just hectic. You know? Yeah. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay, I think that this is like good. Oh yeah, that's definitely good by now. Add this. And then we're gonna do marshmallows. How much? Like that? <laughs> okay. And then shake the Not more, babe. That's too much sugar. Dylan gets first sip. <laughs> it's good. Is it better than the packets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh now because of what you just did. Wow. It's really good. It's from me garbling it down. <laughs> it's really, really good. I thought we were reenacting the first sip. Why do you keep doing thumbs up? Babe, this might be some of the best hot chocolate I've had. Yeah, I need to go to bed.